Hi, I'm Mick from Safari Engineering. We're up here at Glasshouse Mountains and we just come across these little wombat holes. What I'm going to do, I'm going to drive the patrol through with the sway bars fully connected, like it would driven on the road. And you'll see how it drives through here. Then we're going to come back around again and we're going to actually disconnect the sway bar disconnects. So having the, the sway bars connected, you can see how it doesn't want to allow the suspension to go to full travel. So you, you do have to push your car a little bit harder to get up the obstacle. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll put the locker on. And that'll help it get up, even though it's going to carry a wheel. So what we'll do now that we've driven that, I'm going to actually disconnect the sway bars on it. It'll allow a lot more articulation. We should be able to drive that a lot easier and safer than what we just tried then. So down here on the sway bar, you can see there's a little pin in here. You can actually pull that out and that'll allow that to disconnect. Actually, we'll leave this side connected because then I don't have to worry about securing the sway bar up. If you're going to disconnect both sides, then sometimes you might use like an hockey strap or something to hold your sway bar up in the air. What do I normally do when I fall driver? Just disconnect one of the rear ones. Then you'll still have 90% of your rear travel, but without having the safety issue of having your sway bar drop down. So we'll go for a drive now and see what that's like. As you can see how much easier now that's, that's driving up there. Like there's no effort in it. There's heaps more articulation in the suspension way safer and it's as simple as just disconnecting those pins. Then when you're back on the road you can reconnect your sway bar and the vehicle's nice and safe. It was a lot easier to climb that obstacle then with those disconnected and it was a lot safer drive. I'm Michael from Superior Engineering. More information on these sway bar disconnects can be found on our website or one of our sales team can help you out if you've got any queries.